In this video, I want to show you how you can highlight sections of your charts using the x-axis constant lines. I'm going to show you how to set it up from scratch and also how you can enable a date slider to adjust your constant lines within your charts. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this demo here. We have just one table that I've simplified for demos purposes. We have a sales table here, which just shows the total number of sales for a specific date in this range of dates. So pretty simple. And let's say we want to visualize this in a line charts, which uh, is pretty simple. We're just gonna use this line charts visual here, drag the dates on the axis, and then the values on the dates. So here we have the line charts that we want to visualize. So here we have the line chart that visualizes the total sales over time in our table right here. So let's say we were given a task to highlight the August sales within this chart, not necessarily filter the rest of the chart. We still want to see them, but we just want to focus our um, clients or customers view to just the August sales. And to do that, we can add a vertical line and X axis constant line to segregate the August sales. Uh, against the rest. So to add a vertical line, you just need to first select your visual, go to the analytics pane here on the right hand side, under X axis constant line, click add. Now the value here will be a date uh, picker. So just pick any date at the moment, and you'll see that it will visualize a vertical line for you in the chart. So pretty easy, right? You can add multiple constant lines in your charts. So let's say we want to highlight just the August. So we want to uh, change this date to August. This will be our start. We'll just rename that to start, and then we'll click add to add a new constant line. And this one will be the end of August. And then this will be end. pretty easy. Now, as part of the recent updates, they've added this ability to create shade regions with your X axis constant line. So that means that uh, we want to highlight certain sections of your chart. You can do that here. Under the formatting pane, you'll have the shade region, which means uh, you want to shade before or after the line itself. So if we say we want to highlight before, um, you'll be able to select or choose what kind of color you want to highlight the values with and the shade transparency. But you'll quickly see the problem that we have here. So we are able to set the shade region to go continuously to one direction or the other, but there's no way for us to say um, stop when you hit the start uh, constant line. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite. So instead of the, um, the shading going in the middle where we want the focus, we want to instead deselect the values that are outside of our region. And I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. So at the moment we're editing the end X axis constant line, which is the very end here. Uh, we're gonna change the shading to white. I'm gonna keep the shade transparency. And instead of shading before, let's shade after. So instead of uh, this part, it's shading uh, just the future ones. So we'll do the same thing with the start. We'll uh, go to start here. And instead of in front, we'll just shade before. We'll change the shade color to white. So you'll see now we have a chart that uh, highlights the August sales and just the August sales while sort of uh, giving the illusion that the rest of the charts are deselected without actually filtering them. Now, so far, it's been pretty easy, right? So it was pretty much just adding two constant lines and shading uh, the regions within your charts. But now let's say you want to dynamically control the range of what you highlight in your sliders. And if you just try to add a date slider here, 
and if I just make it as a slider here uh, we want to have a slider something like this where if you uh, arrange or drag the um, sliders here it should change the range of your constant line the start and the end but what you'll notice is just using the date column here what it does is it actually cross filters our chart down here which is not exactly what we want we want to still show the full range of our chart without filtering it but just moving the constant lines by itself how do we do that so what we'll need to do here is we'll need to create a separate date table that we can use that works independently with the sales table so this way we can have a slider function uh, without affecting the total sales charts that we can hook up to our constant lines so to do that we're gonna go to power query and we're gonna create a new table that just has date now we already have this sales table with the date column so all I'll do from here is I'm just going to duplicate this just to keep it simple I'm just gonna name this one calendar and I'm going to remove the total cells so just keep it as dates uh, so we'll hit close and load so one thing to bear in mind is you have to make sure that there is no relationship between your sales and the dates where you have it because as i said it needs to be independent so you don't want to be cross filtering the sales table using the date column here so we're decoupling it for a reason so now instead of using the dates from the sales we'll use the date column from the calendar table so now you'll see even if i drag this around it won't have any effect on the chart down here so now that we have the sliders we now have to uh, link the values that we have here on the sliders into our constant lines in our charts so to do that we're gonna create two simple measures so we're going to create the start measure first and the start will be just minimum and then from here we're gonna write minimum of the date from the calendars table and just to visualize you what it does if I just put it in a card down here it will give you the least or the the lowest number that is selected currently on the calendars table so if you uh, you'll see it will match the minimum here and that's what we'll use to hook it up with the x-axis so we'll do the same thing with the end value here and this time we'll use max calendar dates so it should do the same thing if i just uh, put that here in a card you'll see as i drag that that also changes so now let's go back to our line chart here and let's go back to our analytics pane and here on both of them we need to change the value where we have um, explicitly said what the value should be so instead of that we need to click the fx icon right next to it so at the moment we're just at the end click that here you'll be able to select format by we'll say field value and the field based on field would be the end measure that we've just created so so that's it so we'll do the same thing for the start fx icon calendar start measure and that's it so you now have a slider that dynamically controls the constant lines in your chart down there so you'll see here as i drag the constant line changes and the highlighting changes as well what's really cool about this x-axis is it's a pretty common property for other visuals so let's say you want to do this in a bar chart you can do that i mean it, it pretty much works the same way so if we just change it to a bar chart so you'll see it works the same way and also works with area charts so you will have the exact same thing except obviously as an area chart uh, with the same functionality that we've set up here
And that's really it for this video. I hope this simple tip helped you understand how easy it is to hook up your x-axis constant lines to be dynamically adjusted using sliders in your ports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.